For over 14 years, drummer Pete Parada toured the world with one of rock's greatest bands, The Offspring. Then in August of 2021, he announced he was abruptly let go by the band for refusing to take the COVID-19 vaccine. He cited conversations with his doctor and a diagnosis with Guillain-Barre syndrome at an early age, which has proven to increase the likelihood of adverse reactions from vaccines. He decided not to get the vaccine and said that after tense conversations, he was ultimately let go by the band. Now for the first time, he's opening up in an interview about the decision to let him go from the band and what went on during that process. He says that he was close with the members of the band, their families were close, there wasn't any other tension going on. But now, Pete's entire life and career has been transformed. Gone are the massive rock show crowds he enjoyed with The Offspring for over 14 years. Parada explained at the time in an August 2021 social media statement, Given my personal medical history and the side effect profile of these jabs, my doctor has advised me not to get a shot at this time. I caught the virus over a year ago. It was mild for me, so I'm confident I'd be able to handle it again. But I'm not so certain I'd survive another post-vaccination round of Guillain-Barre syndrome, which dates back to my childhood and has evolved to be progressively worse over my lifetime. As for the offspring, their vocalist Dexter Holland has an impressive resume. With a PhD in molecular biology, writing his thesis on microRNA and HIV genomes. Together with his bandmate Noodles, Holland explained in this November 2021 interview with a French media outlet the decision to part ways with Pete Parada. Well, it was rough. I mean, we, we you know, really went back and forth with him for a long time, and he was either unwilling or unable to, to get vaccinated at the end. And we looked at every scenario, and we just kept coming into roadblocks. Everybody needed to be vaccinated, one unvaccinated person could have been disastrous to the whole tour and, you know and, and put the whole tour and and everybody at risk so we just couldn't in the end we couldn't take an unvaccinated drummer or any any member of the crew anyone who wasn't getting vaccinated couldn't couldn't come out on tour with us yeah i tell you it wasn't even so much a personal decision it was just a it wasn't a, really our decision a logistical yeah. decision like yeah. you can't you can't travel you can't fly there's so many things that you can't do without being vaccinated yeah. so it just wasn't able it just wasn't possible but pete's pushing back on that saying he asked specifically what countries he couldn't travel to and what venues he couldn't perform at. He told the culture war with Tim Pool in his first interview since this happened, basically spring 2021, we put out a new record, Let the Bad Times Roll. And so we spent all those months in the spring. I was out in LA with everybody interacting. Everybody was totally fine. We were recording music videos, promotional stuff all through May. Everything was fine, no issues. And then in June, all of a sudden, COVID protocol controls, whatever you want, kind of comes to a head. And I get a phone call from their manager. It was the most unnecessarily abusive, threatening call I've ever received. Just screamed at me of, you need to do this. And I was like, well, you know, I talked to my doctor about it. I have a medical exemption. He didn't care. It didn't matter. I had gentler conversations with them about my feelings and my thoughts where I was at and my medical history and my concerns about going into this. And the last we left it at was, all right, sounds like we're gonna have more conversations about this, to be continued. It felt like we had opened a conversation that was just gonna keep going. And then a week later, out of nowhere, I get this call that's just annihilation. He made it very clear by the end of that conversation that I was to get the shot or I was out. That was the gist of the whole conversation. He spoke on the hurtful personal impact his dismissal from the band had on him noting he had a good relationship with the members of the band and their families were also close. He said, We had a lot of good years together. We had a great time. We traveled the world. Our kids grew up together. Our wives were really close. And so the hardest part was just overnight that we were just gone. And not just hard for me, but for my whole family. To explain to my kids, we're not going to see these people anymore. And just to never hear from anybody again. Over one issue. It's strange. That's not an issue anymore. But at the time, apparently, it was the only issue. Pete asserts he asked for specifics on what venues and what countries he couldn't visit. He said, Well, there's venues that aren't going to let you in. And I'm like, what venues? We don't know yet. Well, there's borders you can't cross. What borders? We don't know yet. I'm like, well, that's my point. We don't know yet. And it seemed a little early to jump. But through the fall of 2021 was just US dates, festivals and stuff. And there was no show that I could not have done on that tour. Even just with my medical exemption, I had bands reaching out to me from the same festivals going, we're not vaccinated, we're on the same show with your band. This is stupid, why are you not here? This doesn't make any sense. I think the whole industry though, went into this mode of everyone wanting to get back to work. 
and I don't begrudge anybody needing to get back to work and make money. But the fact that everybody was performing caution was alarming. As for Pete Parada these days, earlier this month he announced he has a brand new band called The Defiant. You can check him out on social media, I've linked to it in the description. The Offspring's latest album, Let the Bad Times Roll, released back in 2021. They of course continue to tour and continue to do very well. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe for the latest news and updates and check out the recommended video up on your screen.